Welcome back to the IE427 Garage, everybody. Today we're going to talk about throttle pedals. Not just the Russ Thompson throttle pedal, but the actual Factory 5 supplied throttle pedal. And what you can do to it to make it just a little bit better. Um, we love the Russ Thompson throttle pedal. We use them on a lot of cars. But there are, you know, there are people out there that want to use as many parts that are supplied in the complete kit as they possibly can. And I completely understand that because I, for one, am cheap. So, I'm going to show you what we've done in the past in order to make the throttle pedal that Factory 5 supplies just a little bit better. And it may get you through until you decide, if you decide, that you want to upgrade to Russ's pedal. So hang with me. Welcome back to the IU427 Garage. I have been asked a question. Actually, I've been asked a couple of times about, about this very thing. Um, and that is kind of what the deal is with the Factory 5 supplied throttle pedal. And here's what you need to understand. Factory 5 doesn't make that piece. It's a piece that they buy from a supplier. And it is a universal hot rod or muscle car accelerator pedal and therefore it's not specifically designed for a factory five roadster coupe hot rod or pickup so once you get kind of past that point and you understand that it's a universal part it's a little bit easier to understand um we have an issue with the one that is in Jim's car and there were multiple issues with it. Not just the fact that, uh, in the last video I showed you how Loctite wasn't used on the adjuster because it is adjustable. So you can actually take the, the pedal portion of the lower pedal portion of it and you can reclock it on the splines. So it's higher or lower in the throw of the accelerator. So if you've got a shorter driver or you're a shorter person, um, you can adjust it up. And if you're taller, you can adjust it down as long as you get full movement and full acceleration. So we already went over that. Make sure you put a, you know, a drop of Loctite or thread locker on the threads of that adjuster. The second part on this one is the fact that it was just covered in Spray on truck bed liner. Now, the, the, the person that built the car, I, I guess he, he liked truck bed liner, and that's cool. I've done cars that uh, all of the footbox aluminum has been uh, rhino lined or line X or whatever, and it's a real durable finish. But this is the like the store bought stuff, the stuff that comes in aer aerosol can. And it tends to be a little bit more um, gummy, meaning just like everything sticks to it. So if you get a little bit of you know, brake fluid on it, or you get a little bit of uh, dust after you get some other liquid on it, it just attracts dirt and it just gets filthy dirty. So I'm going to turn the camera around and have you take a look at this one. You can hardly move this and it's taken a lot of pressure. I mean, I have to set it down and wedge it against something to move this thing. And it shouldn't be like that. Even with this bolt tight on the end, it shouldn't be like that. So that was problem number two. It, it's just so hard for it to go up and down. It was, it was hanging the throttle. So I'm going to show you how to modify this one. The other thing is this, this spring on here is just worthless. It, it puts the pedal in a, in a very poor position in both the Roadster and the Coupe. I don't know how it is in the truck. I'm assuming since you sit more upright in that and maybe in the 33 that it's not as bad. Um, we're going to replace this with a piece from Russ. And if you can see... Russ's is fixed. The, the pedal portion of the bottom, I'll pull that out of the, the bag in a minute. The pedal portion at the bottom is fixed. It doesn't move. So you can adjust it with the hardware at the bottom, but for the most part, once that's tightened, the, the pedal pad itself does not move. 
So that's a, a clear advantage from the, the one from Russ and the one from Factory 5. But I'm going to tell you how to fix this so you can use it and just don't spray bed liner all over it. And, and it'll probably activate and, and, and work just fine. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull this circlip off of here. We're going to pull the pin out. We're going to remove this spring. And what this spring is, is doing right now, it's holding that pedal out at the top. We want this pedal to be more like this so that it's more like Russ's pedal over here. So once we get that out, get the spring removed, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to drill another hole through the pedal, through the pedal arm, and affix this so it doesn't move out and back. All right, everybody. So what I did, rather than removing the pin and the circlip and everything and having to make a spacer because without a spacer in this thing you can see it's gonna it's gonna move back and forth here so i chose to just take a pair of diagonal cutters and cut the ends of the spring so this is the first time i've done it this way normally i'll just put a um, spacer in here you know cut a spacer on the um oh the bandsaw and then uh add a spacer in here to take up the slack. This time I chose to just cut the spring and it's actually, it's not bad. Um, and then what I did is I made a through hole. So there's a hole going all the way through the top of it now. And that's gonna pin this to the top. So I've got a bolt that's a little long. Um, I could cut it, but honestly, I'm throwing this whole thing in the garbage because uh, it's all bound up at the top because of all this, the uh, truck bed liner that's been sprayed on it. So I'm throwing it away anyway. But I just figured I'd show you guys how um, I was going to do this. So I'm going to send the bolt in. Oh, see if I can do this from this side and line it up. And then we're going to put a hex nut on it. Okay, I got it all together. Like I said, the bolt's a little long. I could cut this on the on the um, uh, bandsaw and uh, cut it for length, but for demonstration purposes, this will work just fine. If you're going to use a standard nut, make sure you put Loctite on it. You could use a nylock nut on this, and that would work as well. And that's just going to pin this thing in the upright position, similar to what Russ does on his pedal, so that... This thing isn't kind of moving around as you're trying to uh, to use it. So with this, this will be a little bit higher. You'll get more throttle activation and be able to get to full throttle. And you won't have to deal with this spring at the top that keeps wanting to slap the top back towards you. So I think that's going to do it on this one. I appreciate you guys watching. I just went through this, this whole ordeal with... Um, Jim's throttle cable and pedal today and I just wanted to make sure that I put a video out so that you guys could see there are ways to actually use that factory 5 pedal and it'll work just fine you just got to make sure you take that little bit uh, extra effort to lock tight the threads on the the pivot bolts and make sure if you're gonna use this and you want some uh, comfort in using it that you get rid of that spring ditch that spring and make that pedal at the bottom fixed so that the whole assembly goes up and down and you don't have to deal with that spring as always thanks for watching do the like the share the subscribe and we'll see you guys all next time have a great day